housing problems when I was 16 and uh, really bad drug problems. I had uh, problems with heroin. And I basically, I was sofa surfing around some friends' houses, but when they found out I was a junkie, they had to have me out, basically. And then this is where I came to deal with it. Um, sat down the here for two weeks. It was, it was pretty intense. It wasn't, it wasn't the best way to live, you know. You had to be optimistic, because you... Yeah, I think at the time I probably was depressed, which is the way my life was going, but it, it couldn't get worse, you know. It, it had to get better. It's got a bit of a charm for it for me because it's like the lowest point of my life. And I'm just, I'm just try and harness a bit of that, some of the work I make. So I'm writing a novel at the moment. It's about it's a bit of a, like a misery novel, you know, and it's got a lot of stuff from it from my days when I was like 16 when I was homeless and things were looking a bit rough. Yeah. But it is, it's quite a funny book as well because it was quite funny to see the Angel Bridge. You met quite a few characters. Yeah. yeah. But you're only 16, though. I know. Quite vulnerable, really. Yeah, I was very vulnerable. I didn't think so at the time. But looking back on it now, I was quite easily manipulated you know, by a few people. Mm. Especially some of the older homeless guys. Who I, for some reason, looked up to. You know? So I, I was low. I was in the lowest echelon of society. I needed anyone who could look after. So I, I live uh, quite an unconventional life really. I'm quite anti sort of working for a job, anti television, anti radio. I just can't I, I just believe in being creative. I, I, you have to be quite hungry for it, you know. Um, there's no funding really. You can get funding for writing but you need to have published things first. Um, the arts funding in Wales has been drastically affected by the Olympics. Like there's a good space on King's Road called Garage. Kings Road Art Space and had a few shows there, but they had to close down because that could continue funding because of the 2012 Olympics. Yeah. And I think that's a bit ridiculous, really. That was something that benefits London, um, has an adverse effect on the art scene in, in Wales. To screw with it. Fundamentally. I just, after the sort of homeless thing when I was 16, I moved to Mid Wales and I just I had a lot of time to reflect. And it just seemed the logical thing to do. I just, and I, then I got really hungry for it. By the time I was 18, I just knew. I was there. I had a bit of a one-track mind. Did you get many splinters? No. I used to. I used to stab myself quite a lot when I started doing that. Yeah. But you just, do I don't know, woodcutters. I just stab myself in the arm with the woodcutters, but like you just get used to it and get a technique. Then when you got your technique, you're away. Let go. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs>